Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing well uh, in these uncertain times and that everybody is staying safe. So my name is uh, Robin Achter and I'm uh, an Office 365 and an Azure developer at Delaware. You can find my contact information here on the screen if you want to get in touch uh, later. So I'll be giving a short demo about a COVID-19 SPFX information web port that I built. I'll give a short demo and I'll also uh, explain some of the key features uh, in the code. So the goal of this web part was to inform the users of, uh, of my intranet about the corona situation uh, for a specific country. So it gives some specific statistics uh, and you also have the option to view an historical evolution. The data is coming from uh, an open source API, which is used, uh, which uses data from the, uh, from the Johns Hopkins University. So let me dive into the demo. So I have a demo site collection here uh, where I will add my web part. So I have the PNP reusable control here to configure my web part. There's only one uh, mandatory property, which is the ISO 2 country code. If you do a quick Google search on the ISO 2 country code, you can easily find them. I use this code because it's also the code that is expected by the API. So if I put in, for example, uh, it seems that there is a, <laughs> a demo issue going on here um, and there's no data available. Anyway, um, you can put in here the two letter code of your country. We also have some uh, other configuration properties like a history button. If you enable this one, uh, I'll show it on the slide again. You get this icon here, which allows you to see an overview, an historical overview uh, in a graph form. We can provide an, uh, an optional link to view more statistics. Let me try and publish and see if we can get some data or if uh, we really have an issue. Okay. Um, uh, let me try and find correct uh, report uh, so I can show you the actual data. I'll show you it in the screenshot. Um, so here we have an example of the live data. So you see we have some up counters which dynamically count up um, and you can configure these up counts uh, also using this. Um, configuration slider so you can define in seconds how long it takes uh, for the up counters and then we also have a property pane reusable control from the PMP initiative to let you uh, choose different colors for the three different statistics uh, so you can see for the three different statistics we have some different colors um, you can define them also in the web part properties uh, so then let's get into the code. Uh, so we have the basic uh, scaffolding of our SPFX project um, with a main web box file. Uh, as you can see in the imports, we use the reusable controls for the property field color picker, uh, which is a very uh, nice tool to let you pick colors in your web box properties. Uh, yeah, and then we also have the other properties in here. Then in our component itself, uh, we use a lot of stuff from the Office UI fabric uh, library, so a model, icon buttons, and stuff like that. Uh, and also we have the placeholder control from the P PNP SPFX reusable React controls. So uh, when the component is loaded, uh, we will actually load the data from uh, the open source API, which I've added into a Corona service in here. Uh, so you can see the URL of this API in here. We have two endpoints that we use. One is for the latest, where we actually get the latest statistics of a specific day. And you also have one endpoint for the time series, which gives us an array of all the historical uh, data for a specific country. Um, we use this uh, HTTP client Robin, project. From Robin, the... sorry, sorry, Robin. Can you zoom slightly? It is really, really yeah, small. Sorry. Uh, so no worries, no worries. 
everybody has four 4K screens nowadays. So <laughs> is this better? It's better. It's better. Or if you can go one more step, that would be even, even better. Yeah. Sure. Excellent. Right. Thank you. So, uh, like I was saying, I'm using this uh, HTTP client provided by the SPFX framework. It's very easy to let you uh, query third-party API tools. Um, it, so, just using this client and this endpoint, you will get uh, a result from the uh, from the API, which we can then show in our web port. Um, so, going back to the web port, uh, we use this count up control which is uh, an open source package provided uh, on NPM, which just lets you uh, define an end number and a duration, how long it takes to do this up count. Uh, and another big thing we have in here is the model. So uh, let me try to show you uh, here. So if we click on this uh, historic icon, we get uh, a model where we can show graphs. Uh, so with that icon, we can get this model open where we can show graphs for the specific uh, statistics. Uh, so we have a, a model from the Office Cyber QI uh, library, and the model itself uh, is more or less uh, the same. Uh, we also in here use a pivot control to have different tops for the different statistics. Uh, and we use this, um, where is it? The Recharts library, which is a very, very cool library, which lets you easily implement custom graphs in your React application. Um, so that's basically a very high level overview of what the component does. It's too bad that it's not working. Maybe there's a, an issue with the with the API because I'm not getting any data back. But anyway, if you go to the blog post, you you can see it uh, working in action. That's it for me. Thank you very much, Robin, for that uh, very cool thing. Uh, obviously, a very timely demo on kind of the stuff, uh, the data we can kind of show around what's going on in the world, uh, and very cool as well course to see the code and get uh, you know another perspective on just how to how to build these web parts and how to see usage for all those reusable controls so really fantastic sample and demo thank you so much for that <laughs>